Hey guys, my name is Cameron. Welcome back to Life of a Dev. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the use effect ho uh, react hook to replace did component mount and did component update um, and functional components. So let's go ahead and get right into the video, guys, and we'll hop right over to my computer. Let's go. I can't get you out of my mind. It's like I feel it for the first time. Been thinking about you all night. Alrighty guys, now that we're on the computer, let's go ahead and jump into VS Code and I will show you guys how to use the use effect hook in React to replace component did mount or component did render. Um, or component did update, sorry, not component did render. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it and I will show you guys how to do that. Um, in a previous tutorial, I showed you guys how to uh, manage local state for a functional component here. Um, if you haven't seen that tutorial, there'll be a link in the description and there'll also be a card or should be a card in the top right hand corner. So uh, basically this app is very simple. All it does is we just import state here. Uh, we have some styling. We declare our actual state here or uh, the function we will be using to grab the state, the function we will be using to set the state and then we use the use state hook and we declare its default state is just a blank string. Uh, then we have a div with an H1 that just says hello and then whatever the username, whatever the state of the username is. And then we have a text box here with a placeholder that just says, please enter your name. And then on every change of this text box, we text box, we actually set the state or set the username state. So I'm gonna show you guys how that actually works here. So here's the app. If we just type in a name, uh, if I can spell my name right, as you see, we update state and we, um, yeah, so we update state on every, every text box change. So today we're going to be using the use effect and this is similar to uh, component did mount or component did update. And that's how we're going to be uh, managing or using that in a functional component. So we don't have to have a class-based component uh, to be using component did mount. So what we'll do is we'll come up to our import statement here and right next to use state, we're gonna do use effect. Um, so awesome, now we have that imported, it's that easy. What we can do is inside of our functional component here, we can just call use effect and this will take a callback function, which will just be an anonymous arrow function and then basically any code within these two these two code blocks here will will execute every time the component either updates or um, is is mounted. So what 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 we're gonna do is we want we don't want it this title. So let's say every time someone types a new name, we don't want that title just to be uh, local local app state or local state app. Um, we actually want it to say the user's name. Like we can say, welcome, whatever the state of the app is, whatever they enter in this text box. And we're gonna be doing that by using the uh, use, effect, use effect hook. And it's very simple. Well, all we'll do is we will go uh, document dot uh, title. Um, equals, uh, we will use backticks so that way we can include some JavaScript in here and we will just say welcome dash uh, and we will include the username here. So now this code is going to fire off every time the component mounts or re-renders. So if we jump back into the, the app, it shouldn't say uh, local local state app because the component mounted, it should say welcome dash. And as you see, we have that, we have welcome dash. And then if we type in Cameron, uh, oh, if I can spell, gosh, can not spell. Uh, as you see, we have welcome Cameron. And this could be um, any state. So we could do David, we could do anything in here, so. Um, 
I hope that I hope that helps you guys. Mostly, what you would do is obviously if you wanted to hit an API, retrieve data, and then store it in state. That is what you would use. Uh, I think you can use use effect for anything. Like I said, any code you put in between these two code blocks here is going to be executed every time the component re-renders or the component um, mounts for the first time. So if you guys have any questions, don't forget to, or don't be afraid to comment and I'll help you guys out as much as I can. Uh, don't forget to smash the like button. It really helps out with this t entire channel pivot or pivot. Um, if you guys didn't know, I used to be a gaming slash modding channel um, for Xbox 360. Uh, I've kind of left the scene and this is my passion. This is what I love to do. I've always loved websites and web development. So if you guys can leave a like, if you guys wanted to see more web development stuff and more uh, coding projects, don't forget to subscribe. There'll be plenty of them on this channel and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Later guys.